How did the frog get away? Jump, frog, jump! Story time is fun time for these preschoolers, but this activity has a greater purpose, one that can bring success later when these kids are in grade school and even high school. A lot of children were not exposed to books. They are learning more about cognitive thinking. They have to think. When she reads the book, she's asking questions. So it's giving them an opportunity to think and answer questions according to the books that she reads to us. Anyone know what letter frog begins with? Even at this age, some of the children know this activity is more than having fun talking about frogs. They know this is about learning. I learned tough in all the books she reads. I don't like frogs because they're super slimy. <laughs> Research supports the idea that this sort of interactive reading to children at a young age has a direct effect on their outcomes in school, regardless of family background and home environment. One study found that reading to children for at least three days a week gives a four-year-old the reading skills of a child that is six months older. Reading to children at least six days a week gives them the reading skills of a child that is 12 months older. Another study found that children who were read to regularly by their parents at age five perform better on tests for math, vocabulary, and spelling at age 16 than students who were not read to regularly as preschoolers. But early childhood educators say some positive effects show up right away. You can see it with the way that they, their attention span. For a two and a half year old, you know, very rambunctious, wants to get up and do everything. But you know, they sit down, they're very attentive, they're very observant when it comes to what's going on in the book. They're able to pick out certain things that most people don't recognize. Um, one of the children, when we were watching the last story that she read, noticed that the, um, the frog had a gold tooth. Something that, you know, an adult, I didn't even see at first. Where did her teeth go? Where did her teeth? No, her, her teeth go. And that's what's really good is it's, it's not just about them reading, it's about understanding what you read and being able to apply that to everything that you do. For the Southern Education Desk, I'm LaTanya Turner, Nashville Public Television. And don't forget to keep reading, reading. <laughs> The Southern Education Desk and American Graduate are made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting.